Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel. You see me smiling because I already know that I have a surprise for you. Not only you will have this video, but this afternoon, fantastic video. Put that notification ring on, Romeo Agresti. And who better than Romeo to give us an update about the entry and exit strategies of the Mercato of Juve that I hope could start to kick in from tomorrow. Today is the Sunday, the calm before the storm. Also asking him about his meeting with the communication and marketing leaders for the future of Juve. What about Allegri? What about this? What about that? A lot of questions in this afternoon video that you don't want to miss. So maximum of notification ring on. Don't forget to sub to the channel if you didn't yet, because you know it. More we are growing, more I can have these kinds of guests of the channel so that you are happy. Happy because the qualities of the videos are increasing. But in today's video, we'll speak about big names, update. Lukaku that could potentially according to Corriere dello Sport be here in La Continassa on Tuesday Gazzetta is telling us that we are not sure that Chiesa could remain at Juve and then midfielders Goretzka Javenberg Diara Beppe why so many midfielders why is Juve looking for some midfield we will give you the answer in today's video so maximum of like we start so, ragazzi, I already told you and spoiled you about the names of the midfield that Juventus is looking for yesterday out of nowhere. Sky Sport, not Italy, but Germany, they told us Leon Goretzka could become a serious option for Juventus who are currently looking for a new midfielder. And that's the first name. That's the big first name. 28 years old, in the peak of his career, playing at a club, Bayern, that is 99% sure to win La Liga, Bundesliga, that is also always sure to participate to the Champions League, that is participating also to Champions League, beautiful salary for him. I don't understand where that name is coming from. Why is Goretzka linked to Juve? Then I can give myself an answer. Yes, Juventus is looking for a midfielder. Yes, Juventus is still kind of with open talks about Dusan Vlaovic with Bayern Munich. Yes, I know that. Why? Because at the moment they can't finalize the deal with Harry Kane. As we speak, the deal for Harry Kane, after an offer of 100 million euro from Bayern, could totally collapse or can have green light. And from there on, if it collapses, we can start resuming the talk about Dusan Vlaovic. Dusan Vlaovic, Bayern, Goretzka to Juve could be a possibility. Not only Dusan, but also Chiesa. For the updates about Dusan and Chiesa, remain until the end of the video. But let's go back to our talks about the midfielders. If Goretzka is a name that I would love, because it would elevate immediately the quality of the midfield of Juve, it's a name that honestly, at today, I don't really believe in. I don't really believe in, because not only Bayern and Juve could talk about him, but you also have the agreement of the player that you need. Will Goretzka agree to join Juve, at the moment, I don't know. Then we go to another name, also from Bayern Munich. We speak about Gravenberg, you know, Il Mio Pupillo, my kid. Not from this year, but from already one and two seasons ago. Uh, the ex ix player that I really believed in, the player that I was really wanting to join Juve. Paratici, Cherubini were really on the player. Arriva Bene was on the player. So it's not only now, it are, is already since 2020, 2021, even 2022, where at the end he went to Bayern Munich for 20 million euro. A player that was expecting more playing time. But last year, as we all know, he was more on the bench than on the field. His agents are La Scuderia, Raiola, the brother of Mino Raiola, Enzo is taking care of him, he could be potentially in talks with Juve. Not now, but maybe in a few days, maybe in a few weeks. For what reason? Because after the possible negotiation with Liverpool totally collapsed, the player is not sure, not certain to continue to play with regularity with a lot of minutes in Bayern Munich a possible deal like an option to buy on loan loan with an option to buy could happen why because there were some talks with Milan a few weeks ago before they decided to go to another American player Musa so Gravenberg in exit from Bayern going to Juve this is a possibility this is a name that I believe more than the other one of Goretzka Gravenberg to Juve after a really sad season let me know if you are still hot about that name but there is a third option that i want to give you about that midfield we are speaking about diara diara habib 19 years old super young players that is playing at the moment at strasbourg in france a player that at the moment there are a lot of teams on the big teams on the player are um 
Lens in France, sorry, and was Wolfsburg in Germany, two teams that are really convinced that they want to spend the request of his actual team Strasbourg 13 to 15 million euro. A name that at the moment is not a certainty, but Juventus is monitoring. You know, this kind of Juntoli name, but also Tognozzi and Manna. They are really great in scouting the international market. We know that Juntoli has always an eye for French Ligue 1, so he could be a fantastic player. The surprise, the revelation of Ligue 1 last season, Attention to that name. Will he be immediately a serious name for Juve at the moment? No. Why? Because the three players that we told you, I told you, Gravenberg alone can be fantastic. 13, 15 million for Diawara could be fantastic. A swap, Vlaovic or Chiesa to buy and for Goretzka. In terms of name, Goretzka would be the most ready, but it's the name that I don't believe in at the moment. I don't believe he could. there is an option, a possibility that he could join Juve. Well, if we want to really start that these names start becoming serious, we need to sell. What is the update about the selling list about Juve? Well, Ake to Idinese on loan could happen from tomorrow on. Together with Zakaria to Monaco. They already found a deal, Juve and Monaco, between 18 and 20 million euro. Just Zakaria that, did, that needs to give his green light. Pellegrini, Lazio, and Juventus did everything with Nice, with Fulham. They sold the player, everything was done deal. And we would even receive between the 8 and 10 million euro. He refused everything. He wants to go to Lazio, that he's loving since a kid. He's a Lazio fan. And he's re even ready to lower his salary just to go there on loan. So Pellegrini Lazio could be an option. We continue the winter to Genoa, uh, a loan with an obligation to buy at 10 million euro, a player that I really wanted to stay at Juve. At a certain moment, we were even thinking of him staying at Juve. We are too much. We need to sell. It is what it is. It is a reality, but not only, yeah, because next week there will be a mega meeting with Salernitana, not for one, but for so many players. Not all of them will go to Salernitana, but we are still in open talks for Facundo Gonzalez that will arrive at Juventus tomorrow for the medical test. From there, he could potentially go to Salernitana, but also they are still waiting for a green light for two players. Their favorite one is Miretti, but also Nicolussi that was already at Salernitana last season. If Miretti fails, they can go for Nicolussi. If they go for Nicolussi, well, Miretti will fail. So one or the other plus Facundo Gonzalez, but they also have interest for other players. Haza, the magic talent, the best Italian player from that under 19 World Cup or Euro, I don't remember. And then Yildiz. Yildiz, that we know, it's a fantastic talent, a talent in perspective. Didn't receive a lot of chance to play in USA, but Juventus and Allegri already took him to test him. And they realized for probably that he's stronger than a third division and could possibly go on loan to Salernitana. Early talks, but Salernitana, Juve could be a fantastic meeting. Selling, 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 loaning, loaning, loaning for that 45 team player that we were in the beginning start really to go towards the 25 objective target that we have. Now, why is still Juventus then talking about midfield if we have so many players? For a simple reason. Looks like Allegri kind of gave up on Pogba. He's not reassured about his physical condition. If Fagioli and Rabiot would be ready between the 9th, the family game in the Allianz Stadium, and the 12th against Atalanta. If Rovella should be ready for the first game against Udinese, in the first game of Serie A, well, about Pogba, we are hoping that he can be ready towards the end of the month. And again, it's a hope. Allegri that last year was always quite pessimist regarding Pogba coming back on the field. This season looks like he prepared everything calculating the disaster possibility that could, that Pogba could not be there. Or he could be sold, or he could be physically not ready. So Alain is already thinking, and he wants to be reassured. He wants to have an answer. We have two roads, or the first one on going to Mercato, if you are able to sell, to sell, to sell, all these names that I told you, and more. And then you have a possibility to go for Gravenberg, to Goretzka, why not? Maybe also Diara after losing big players like Kessier and Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Not sure about Vroiler, that, is, that was an option if Cambiaso would have gone to Nottingham Forest. And then there is the plan B, keeping Weston McKenney, that is still on the market if a beautiful offer arrives. But now, after the USA Tour, Juventus is not 100% sure 
to sell him. They still see some potential in the first American player that we had in our team, which Wea increased the level of USA players. Now that we spoke about all the midfielders and why Juventus is still looking for that, it's the injuries, the injuries of our midfield that is there, the question, the answer. But we have to speak about the big names. Dusan Vlaovic and Lukaku. We see it on all the pages. Huh? If Corriere dello Sport is 100% sure. Pronto Max. Looks like, I don't know how they did, but Zazzaroni, the director of Corriere dello Sport, apparently he heard a call between Max Allegri and Romelu Lukaku. With a beautiful picture, this time with a sweater, and he's looking with a smile to his phone. Pronto Max. Hello Max on the phone. Chelsea and Juve has a call, Romelu at Torino, Romelu in Torino already this week. They are quite sure, they are quite sure that Max and Romelu had a call agreeing everything, that he will be the new number nine of Juve. I don't know how they do it, huh? I don't know how they do it and I also don't understand why they continue to push the narrative that the Mercato is done by Allegri. Allegri is not doing the Mercato, I repeat, he's giving his advices, he's asking for some players, for some roles, yes, why not, but it's not Allegri is doing the Mercato. Anyway, so the call should have been between the agent or the lawyer of Romelu and maybe Giuntoli, but the call between Romelu and, uh, and Allegri, boo, I don't know. Anyway, we continue because Tutto Sport is saying attenzione. Because we are not sure yet who will be the striker of Juve. Who will score for Juve? Will it be Dusan? Will it be Romelu Lukaku? So what are the latest there? The latest is that uh, <laughs> Dusan Vlaovic was with Mbappé. You will tell me, Beppe, what are you speaking about? Well, in the few days off that they had since they came back from USA, Dusan Vlaovic he decided to go in a disco, in a club, to have some, some fun in his free time. And who was there? Kylian Mbappé. Look, Karagazzi, Kylian Mbappé from Paris Saint-Germain to Real Madrid. Madrid, Vlaovic from Juventus to Paris Saint-Germain, maybe yes, maybe no, maybe Mbappé is telling him don't go there, or just maybe they had some casual call, some fun talk, speaking about, I don't know, some uh, some nice things that you are speaking in a club, I don't know, which which drink do you prefer, Long Island or do you prefer uh, Sex on the Beach, I don't know, I, I don't know, ragazzi, but anyway, they were together, but that's not the big update, the big update is that Juventus even if they want to keep Dusan Vlaovic, they have some doubts. The same doubts, in a way, as Paul Pogba, about physical condition or long term about Dusan. Physical condition with a growing pain that we saw. He was only able to play 15 minutes with Juventus in that USA Tour. He's not 100% yet in form. That's one thing, even if he trained really hard individually alone there, Christine Kupo in the video that we uh, recorded together confirmed it, he was training really hard, so we don't know, we are not sure, and Max, he wants this season not having the same problem as we had last season, with a lot of players that he couldn't count on, and especially the big, huge names, like a Pogba, like a Vlaovic, like a Di Maria, like a Federico Chiesa, which brought a lot of problems, not excuses, but problems, so he wants to avoid that, and that's why this is one of the problems. The second one is the mental strength of Dusan Vlaovic. At Juventus, they are not 100% sure that he's strong enough, mental enough, to have all that pressure on his back. And the third one, of course, is the tactical plan. The tactical plan of Max Allegri that not always puts Dusan Vlaovic in the best condition. And for all these reasons, they are continuing the talk about Dusan Vlaovic leaving. On top, of course, of Reason number one that I didn't mention, but you know, the financial reason. Dusan Vlaovic to Chelsea, Lukaku to Juve. At the moment, we are still there with 20, 25 million euro offer from Chelsea on top of Romelu. Juventus that is still asking 50 million euro. They decided, they said, if we really have to sell our Serbian number nine, then you have to pay us the money. Otherwise, we don't move from these kind of requests. Dusan to Bayern, if Harry Kane doesn't go to the German team, could be. Vlaovic to Real Madrid instead of Kylian Mbappé, if Kylian Mbappé can't free himself from Paris Saint-Germain. Dusan Vlaovic to Tottenham, there are a lot of options, but looks like if Dusan is leaving Juve, Lukaku is the number one target. On the other side, and we finish with that news, Gazzetta dello Sport is talking as about the Federico Chiesa that Max Allegri wants to again put at the center of Juventus. He's trying to work hard to have Federico Chiesa, which is 
partially working because we saw him in USA, but at the moment the renewal of the contract of Chiesa is blocked. What are you speaking about? The future. Chiesa has two more years of contract at Juve, this year and next year. If he doesn't renew in this year and we have time we have 12 months it could potentially become a problem for next year because the value of the contract would be less strong means you can't cash in a lot anymore on Chiesa and that's why they are saying that yes Max is working on him Max give us back Chiesa so all the pressure on the shoulders of Max but if a 40, 50 million euro arrives for Federico Chiesa because at the moment the renewal talks are blocked, Juventus could take it into consideration. Why? If Dusan Vlaovic is not leaving, there are still clubs that know that Juventus needs to cash in. They are sure about it. We already communicated openly that one of these players needs to leave if a big offer arrives. And then who are the clubs on the player? On top of Newcastle, there are still Saudi Arabia with Al Nasser, the team of Cristiano Ronaldo that could go for Federico Chiesa, which I really don't believe that Chiesa would go to. But you never know. You never know. In Mercato is crazy. I repeat you. But there are teams like Liverpool that are monitoring the player and so on and so on. So pay attention to Federico Chiesa that I really don't believe will leave Juve. But you never know. Who could be the potential replacement? In worst case scenario, he leaves. The preferred one is Jesper Lindstrom. Then you have still the evergreen names, Morata and Berardi. Ragazzi, long videos with a lot of Mercato talks to, to give you a last picture of what can happen from next week on. Because from tomorrow, we are the 7th of August. Three weeks until the end of the Mercato. Let me know what you want to know about Romeo. Let me also know what you believe can happen between Goretzka, Gravenberg, Diara. Which one is your preferred one? What about the Vlaovic and Chiesa story? Let me know. Grazie, forza. Juve. <claps>